Good morning, guys. And there's me broken down car just there. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it was a crazy night last night. Not only were we just staying here, like yesterday we were there for two nights. Actually, I think we're in this room just over there. Then me car broke down. <laughs> yeah, me poor little car. And then now I've checked in Universal's Aventura Hotel and I'm gonna show you the room, but I'm just gonna say it is bearing in mind, I have been in here for over 12 hours thus far. So I'm just like tidying up, trying to make it look like I've just moved in. <laughs> it is a lovely hotel and I've just been sitting watching Netflix in Prime Video because in Aventurous Hotel, you do get that for free. Actually, cut that. And when I say you get it for free, I mean like you can use your signed in login details for free on the devices. It doesn't like charge you additional. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Universal has not given Netflix <laughs> and Amazon Prime away from free. Anyway, guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button and let me show you my room in Aventura. Just before I actually show you the room, I thought I would show you this. This is the operational update, and this is what they were doing. Obviously, just pause the video if you want to um, read this in full. But this is what they were doing yesterday due to the hurricane. It, it, it seems to be really calm out there now. Um, I know Universal is open today. I don't know at what capacity, but obviously we'll see if we can head over today. But yeah, the um, I did actually grab lunch from here last night. Well, I wouldn't call it lunch. I would call it evening meal, and it was really really nice and I watched a movie called Goodbye Mommy I think it is it's a horror movie I'll, um, I'll show you on the tablet in a sec because you do get your own tablet with this room as well right so we'll start off with the outside of the room so we're in room 1441 and as you come into the room this is just a standard room but I believe the upgraded me to a higher view which was like a, a grade above but i'm not i'm not to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure if like it costs more they just they just said they've just given me a complimentary upgrade so this but it's still a standard room this is the mirror there's me oh, feeling very bloated after last night's meal <laughs> Um, we take a jot to the left. Apologies, like I've said, guys, I have been in here for 12 hours, so obviously it would look better than this when you come in yourself. There's some Colgate. That doesn't come with the hotel, unfortunately, guys. I'm actually loving that toothpaste, to be honest. I, I don't usually get Colgate at home. Um, Con always gets something else, but I picked it up. Sorry, this is so, like, <laughs> not a room tour. But yeah, lovely sink. You get some complimentary soap, loads of towels. I have had a shower this morning, so again, apologies. <laughs> this is some dough that does not come with the room <laughs> but yes a shower is one of the best showers to be honest it actually beats Disney this shower honestly I've, I've never had a shower as good as this in a Disney hotel um, I, I would say the only shower that I would say is actually better than the one that you get in these resorts um, in these rooms is the one at Lowe's Royal Pacific because the best way to explain the Lowe's at Royal Pacific is there's like one like thing there but then you have another one so you get I was gonna say you get wet from both ends but that probably doesn't sound very good. And we come in to the main, I was gonna say the living room, the main room. So we've got the two beds. Both are like double, they're not they're bigger than a double though. They're about, would you say they're a queen? Oh, I don't know guys. They're both, they're both double beds, but they're quite, I think they're queens actually. They are queens, aren't they? They're both really big beds. I've put all my suitcases on there. You don't actually have any under, um, oh, apologies, there's a wire on the floor. That's me charger from the car, which obviously should be in the car, but the car broke down and this is a pillar that you get on on the bed right let's let's do this again right let's uh, cut that we'll, we'll go back again guys <laughs> no all right so there's no under there's no under you can't put your case under basically um, but the best thing i will say in this room is there is loads of storage space in the in the wardrobes so you can see you've got that it's like double doored and you've got your hangers as well you've got an iron board which is which is really really good like honestly i don't know how big that looks like on cam but that is a massive space you've got loads of room there you also get an iron and then you get extra sheets because i believe this room can have up to four guests i'm sure i could be wrong guys but obviously check the website 
Again, this is just a standard room. You then have a coffee making facilities. Um, I've not used it, but I used it in the Cabana Bay Hotel. It's the same, same, you know, facilities that are, that's really really nice you get a nice tv and i'll show you how the tv works in a sec which is really awesome you control the tv through this tablet and as you come in hang on you can like go to the home screen and it'll be like oh there you go welcome danny dalamo room 1441 and then you've got like theme park hours in here so you can see you know is the theme park open today so actually let's see because i'm hoping we're going to universal today but it might not be open we'll just have a check now uh is it the first today no it's not the first what what's a day oh no it's actually closed so it's so universal's actually closed today guys no yeah so so actually yeah, so the park will not be open today, so we'll not be going to Universal. Is City Walk open, maybe? Because we may oh no, City Walk's even closed. To be honest, I'm not surprised they're closed. And I'm and to be honest, I've said this in the earlier videos. I'm glad they're closed because I would rather it be open once it's safe. If you know what I mean, well then them just opening it just for opening sake but yeah so this is this is obviously the tablet i don't really know how you get off this screen so then you click off and then you've got tv and media and basically you just click on it and then it'll you can like control it through the mouse and it goes onto the tv and honestly it was amazing i watched which movie was it i'll see if i can i'll see if i can go back hang on oh it's not gonna let me go back Never mind, if I go back it'll like knock me off and I might watch another movie. Um, you can do internet and tools, you can go on the internet, world clocks, services, really good, you can request items. Now you may remember, can you remember ages ago when I stayed in this hotel with Ben and really the robot was here and he brought like coffee? You can actually order stuff and you can, I'm not going to do it because I don't need it and it's just using the facilities which are not needed but if you click submit you can actually decide to have Relay to drop it off which is the robot that walks around the hotel if you're interested in that I'll put a link to my previous video uh, from earlier on in the year it was yeah it was it's it's a really good one you can order room service on here which is great room control so you can control the light and the, the lights so uh so hang on what is that vesti blue so hang on i'm trying to do this double handed two seconds oh oh there we go right so you'll see that again guys so if i just hang on we'll uh we'll we'll do that <laughs> sorry about making you feel ill from all the movement with the camera so if you click that watch this so the lights go on deck lamp where's that oh there there's the deck lamp you can knock that on and off yeah, floor lamp. I think that one is over here. Yep, it is. Oh my God, you know, through the night, guys, I was actually walking around the room turning all the lights off <laughs> and I could have just used this iPad. <laughs> what am I like? But that is really cool. This hotel is brilliant value for money. This is generally usually the same price as Cabana Bay. Now, when it comes to like, you, you know, if you're gonna rate them by like their values to moderate to, you know, I can't say anything about the dock sites and stuff that are just outside of Universal, but I've stayed in pretty much every Universal hotel now apart from Hard Rock. And honestly, Universal, even though like for example, Capanna Bay would be your value resort, so it's one of your cheapest resorts, it doesn't feel like a value resort. The facilities are absolutely brilliant. It has a lovely gym in there. I didn't get a show, guys, because it was busy and it was during the hurricane. But hopefully in a later series, I might come here and, and fill, film the facilities, or even later in this series. But the facilities are absolutely brilliant. Obviously, never got to try the pool, but I saw them. There were so many pools. There's a lazy river. Facilities in the room are good. The only thing I don't like about Cabana Bay, and this is just a personal preference, is you don't get the iPad. You've got like just normal standard TV, you know, with a remote. And it's really nice having the iPad. Because for example, like during the hurricane, if you were in this hotel, you could have been watching Netflix and Prime Video all day. Obviously, having said that, with Cabana Bay, you can plug an iPad, not an iPad, sorry, a HDMI from your laptop into the TV, and you can do that. Or you can use Chromecast as well. Uh, Chromecast doesn't work on my phone. Let me know in the comments if it works on your phones. I can never get it to work. But yeah, blown away by both Universal Hotels. It's been really nice to be honest. Obviously, I would, under different circumstances, it would have felt a lot better. But under the circumstances that I've been in, it's been really nice being able to come here and go to Cabana Bay within a day apart and see both facilities and show you guys both the rooms. 
I would 1 million percent, if you're coming to Florida and you don't want to spend mass amounts of money on a hotel, but you want a hotel to be clean, really like cool, because this room, this room is cool in my opinion, and um, really good facilities, but not bank breaking, this is honestly, I would say this is 10 out of 10. And like, for example, my family really want to come across and they won't have the funds to be able to stay like in Disney. So this is the hotel that I'll be recommending to them because it's it's an absolutely brilliant hotel. I remember when I came out, yeah, with Ben. Ben said, I, bearing in mind, Ben stayed in Animal Kingdom Lodge. He stayed in Saratoga Springs. And where else did he stay? Oh, in Old Key West. We stayed somewhere else, I'm sure. I think that was it. And he said, this was the best hotel we stayed in you know so that's just said it and Ben it was Ben's first trip and he hasn't got you know he hasn't got like favorite he prefers Universal or Disney he just based it on the rooms and he said this was the best room we stayed in again he loved the tech so yeah 10 out of 10 from me for for Aventura yes you've seen that scene right it's coffee time I literally feel like, do you know like when your your voice sounds a bit whisk? Do you know, does that, is that a right word, whisk? Do you know what I mean? Like a bit rough, that's probably, whisk, oh my God. Rough, <laughs> not whisk. Just ignore, honestly, my brain. I've been saying this a lot, my brain's went to mush, but it really, really has. This is a lot. I'm not sure I understand. He's always listening, that Siri, isn't he? Siri, are you always listening? He literally does just come on all the time. Apple, you're always listening. And this is what you call a good coffee. Look at that. Hotel room coffee taste test. <laughs> Guys, I've got nothing else to fill them. Just bear with us. <laughs> right, let's give it a taste test. Do you know what? That's good, you know? Don't get us wrong, mate. It's not as good as Disney's Joffrey's Blend. But this, this is good. It's it's doable. Do you know what I mean? I do know people that actually bring coffee on holiday. Let me know in the comments. Do you actually bring coffee from home over? Let me know. I've actually just seen from uh, Luke and Rich's uh, Instagram. I can see Magic Kingdom is open today. So what we might do is if Universal's not open, once I've picked my car up, we'll head over to Magic Kingdom. Have I told you about what's happening with my car? I don't think I have, have I? I'll let you know later. Well guys, it's now that sad time. It's time to zip up the case. I say that, I'm like saying this like I'm going home today. If it, Honestly, I can't explain how weird the last couple of days have been, guys. I really can't, honestly. It's been the most surreal few days. It hasn't felt like a holiday. Sorry, I'm struggling to zip this case up. Oh my God, nothing ever goes right for me these days. Wait, hang on. I think we've got there. I think we've got there. There we go. Yeah, it's just felt like the most... Oh no, it's not zipping up. Oh my God, it's, there's like bags stuck in it. Oh. Right, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there, guys. Hang on. Are we getting there? Yes, we are getting there. Yeah, it's just literally felt like the most surreal, just few couple of days. And it's nice to think that everyone in the area now and hopefully the rest of Florida can get to some sort of normality again. And we can go to, you know, being able, like for example, even just seeing cars on the road. I've not seen that for nearly two days because when I arrived on Tuesday night, Everyone was driving in, and then Wednesday, there was no cars on the road. And then obviously yesterday, there was no cars on the road. You can actually see people leaving now to to actually get into their cars now they're leaving, which is, um, oh, honestly, it's been, it has been a nice two nights staying at the hotel, but I'll just, I hope, to, I hope, you know, before, I don't know, I hope at some point I can come back here again and stay Cabana Bay when it's under different circumstances because it has been a really nice hotel. Just the same as Aventura as well. It's just been a lovely hotel. It's been really nice staying here. Right, and this is me now leaving the room. I've signed out of my Amazon account because I was literally just thinking there, oh my God, like, I, I, I can imagine the hotel staff will like reset everything, but still, I just don't want to leave everything signed in. And this is us saying goodbye to Universal. I, we are actually going to head over to Universal studios now because on one part of the website it says it's open for hotel guests but not open for the external public but then we've just asked the staff and they said that they're not sure if it's open but there's a lot of guests down there that keep going to the bus stop and going somewhere so i can only assume it must be open I know it won't solve my problem, but I know it makes a difference One more sip and I'ma face it 
Out my body when I'm pimping. I told her one more, she and me say you quit or she get pain. Yeah, yeah. I don't want pain no more. I don't want no more pain. I ain't gon' see no way. Look at that with no pain. See the rain coming down, but it is not purple today. Came a long way from stacking and rolling that change. And all I ever wanted was some real love. Then I ice it on my heart, I watched it build up. My bro, he stay with Tuzi Bob the build up. And I feel like I don't wanna feel So, guys, we've actually got into Universal City Walk now. The main two parks are closed. Volcano Bay is open today, but you've got Islands is closed and Universal Studios is closed. And actually, as you can see, if you look really, really closely, you can actually see the water has completely risen like massively actually yeah it is absolutely mad i'm just glad to see it's still here everything's still you know kind of open do you know what i mean but yeah it's mad seeing it like this it really is and you can actually see more flooding here you can see like where it started to rise yeah so sad seeing it like this obviously by the time you guys would have watched this obviously you know hopefully the park will be back open and you know this is just a thing of the past but it is sad to see and i just it's nice to see things have you know stayed functioning as well because from what we've been told obviously this is just a day after the storm so we're just hearing this news as it drips through the media but it seems like universal was hit harder than disney it's strange today as well because islands of adventure isn't that busy because they're only allowing resort guests into universal today now i am filming this on friday the 30th of September obviously we are expecting updates to come at any point maybe the park might be open later today or it might be open on the Saturday or the Sunday we do we are aware that Disney have opened up today but yeah Universal I think has had the most damage that's about the size of a hand that that's actually gorgeous oh my god hey, with a Universal in the background oh wow Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow, look, you can actually see them fixing things inside of the park, actually. So the inside of the park must have faced some damage. Or maybe they're just decorating. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. But I tell you, I'm going to show you something, guys, to the right-hand side. You would not want to be in that queue. I kid you not, I've been in that queue when there's about 20% of that many people and it's over an hour, so that is a long queue. But obviously these will be people who have had their RIP to us cancelled, either tickets cancelled, you know, people who, you know, maybe travelling home today might not have the opportunity, so yeah, that, that's, that's a long queue long queue so you can actually see now that they seem to be putting the halloween horror night stuff back up i think they must have took a lot of it back down so they're now putting it all back up <laughs> and um yeah oh it's actually do you know i feel like i'm at the gates of buckingham palace or something this was like honestly i am um, yeah it's uh yeah at least the what the uh, cast members are saying here is they're saying they're not going to open the parks until it's safe which to be honest i totally agree with so if it takes them a week to open it it takes them a week to open it. if it takes them tomorrow to open it then it takes them a couple of days do you know what i mean if they've got to open it once it's safe oh, i'm hoping they're able to open soon and safe guys i'm just thinking of like the cast members i just keep thinking as well about you know like people from like my own country the united kingdom who've traveled all this way and you know this might be that once in a lifetime trip and I know obviously we, we can't open the parks when it's not safe but obviously for for the guests as well we've just seen like a lot of Brits come in and you can yeah obviously yeah and the accents and you can yeah the disappointment but I think we're all under the same thing of you know we don't want the parks open till it's safe obviously hopefully it'll open in the next hopefully it might even open tonight I've honestly got hope it might open later today you know and I'll tell you the reason why I noticed when when we were standing there they started decorating like the front like putting like the signs out and stuff for like guests to come in and I would think like li literally that would be, would be one of the last things they would do so maybe maybe it may open tonight or tomorrow fingers crossed Wait, we're actually gonna head up towards a bread box now we're just trying to find somewhere where we can grab something to eat oh oh Ava this looks good what about frozen yogurt or yogurt we call it yogurt in the UK I don't know what you call it yeah yogurt yeah yogurt um 
Is that healthy? We're trying to look for yeah. something like, no, is it, oh, is it not healthy? Like ice cream. Oh, ice cream. No, we don't want ice cream. <laughs> also as well, if you are in Universal, they do have a Burger King. And uh, I don't think there's much difference between a Burger King in the UK to the States, to be honest, it's still the same, but they do have one. Just a quick one as well. There's actually crazy golf in City Walk. So, so this is Hollywood Driver in Golf. And honestly, it's really cool. I've not done it since. If you're actually staying on site or if you have an annual pass, you do get a discount. But what I do recommend with this is you can do the two, the two, obviously the two sections, but actually it is really, really fun. Me and Con did it. We did it back in 2018. And I highly recommend, honestly, it was really, really good. You've got bubblegum shrimp there as well. Honestly, one of my favorite restaurants. But the problem is, is I don't have many friends that just want to eat fish. <laughs> like non, like Con, Con's a veggie, but he's like a strict veggie. So he, he won't even walk through the doors of bubblegum shrimp. Ben isn't a fan of fish. Liam doesn't eat anything else but like unhealthy food. Sorry, Liam, I'm, I'm out near here. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, yeah, I, I would love to go to bubblegum shrimp. If you're into bubblegum shrimp and you want a plus one, then drop me something in the comments. I think what we've done, guys, is we've decided to go to Moore's and I'll actually show you the menu. This is honestly one of my favorite restaurants. I really wish we had these in the UK. So this is the menu. So you've got Moore's favorite. So it's like, it's like a Southwest grill. So you've got, you can make like bowls. Um, you've got burritos, bowls, and uh, nachos, tacos, salad. It's actually really, really nice. And it, it's not bank breaking either. And the portions are really, Really, really big as well and one of the best things with Moore's guys as well is with every order you get chips and salsa on us and I'm not joking right I remember when I brought Stevie here in 2019 he was just, he just wanted the chips and the salsa so like I got like the bowl which is 1109 plus tax and with that you get the chips and salsa and we shared it between the two of us honestly you know it's so much food I'll show you when it comes like if you're on big eaters it, you can share that between the two years honestly it's uh, it's definitely big enough and obviously you get your burritos and tacos and things like that if you want them and for anyone that's like wondering like what's it like when you serve it so it's like it's a bit like subway so you basically like walk down the aisle and they'll say do you want rice in it do you want meat uh, beef in it do you want like salads things like that so it's a lot like subway and look at this how nice does that look as well oh I love this place. Please, Moors, put them in the UK, honestly. We need these in the UK. I think it'll be really popular as well. There we go, guys. There is your nachos. Look at the size of these. So there's your nachos. They're bigger than my hand. That's how much you get. And then look at the size of that. So now do you know what I mean when I say you can share this? And the total cost of this cost me 10, 10, 15 with the discount. Oh, it's not even, there you go, 10, 15 with a discount. I'm gonna lie, I don't know how well you can hear me or even see me, but yeah, again, look at these nachos at the size of that. And do you know what? It's actually quite healthy as well. You can basically put what you want in it. You can like take the cheese out. You don't even have to have rice with it. You could just have salad. There's so many things that you can, that you can do with this. And let's do a taste test. Mm. And I've got the ground beef as well. And the ground beef tastes absolutely unreal. Also, another one of my favorite things to do, fill your nacho up with like things that you like. Mm. I'm in heaven. You can actually see guys, the entrance. We're just on our way out of the park. We're gonna head to the airport and get my car. But look at that, there's not a single car in sight. It literally, uh, I shouldn't really say this on my YouTube channel, but I actually watched the movie 28 days later <laughs> the other week. And do you know, like when you watch it and like the motorways are empty and it's like totally desolate, that's literally what this is like. I just, it's crazy just seeing it like that. Just no one around. It's just mad. Yeah, I can imagine this is what was like through the pandemic. A little bit later, guys, we have a new car. And to be honest, I don't even know which brand of car this is. Hang on. So it is a Volkswagen Escape, I think it is. I, I literally could be wrong. I'll show you it. Just while I show you this car as well, I just want to say a huge thank you to Alamo because they have been absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I can't fault them. They have been really, really helpful and supportive. Um, yeah, so it's an Encore. Is that Volkswagen? I don't think it is, guys. I am so sorry. Someone tell me in the comments what brand of car this is. Um, but anyway, I've got my new car. I'm sorted. Oh, and we're going to head 
to all star music now. I don't even know how well you can actually see me at the moment, guys, but I've just realised I don't think I've even explained to you is the reason why I've even went to get a new car. The reason being is it was very strange. Yesterday, I moved my car from the front of where my room was to the other side. And then when when I went over to Aventura to book the new room, which you may remember on the last vlog, yeah, as I, got, as I got back to getting the car to move it to the new hotel, literally, I just went to click the start button in the car and it just went, it like, it clicked once and then it just went off, which I thought was really, really random. So I was like, okay, then this doesn't really make sense. And then, I, bless Ava, she, she went in to try and, like, speak to security and stuff and, and they were like, oh, yeah, that's fine, we'll come out. And bless the security came out and they came out with one of them little things and they thought it might have been the battery. And I was adamant it was the battery. I was like, it's definitely the battery. It, it, you know, it has to be. It can't, it can't be anything else. It, it has to be the battery. So anyway, after them like investigating and looking, they were like, the security were like, there's nothing we can do. So I rang Alan Moore, and honestly, they've been absolutely amazing. They really, really have. You know, I, at the start of this vlog series, I was questioning if I would ever rent a car again because I've had some really bad experiences with renting cars. But I'm going to be completely honest, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 both times, like, you know, today and yesterday, we're trying to sort this out with Alamo. So again, Alamo, they've actually just DM'd me on Instagram. I just want to say like a huge thank you. Like if you ever see this vlog, I, I just want to say a huge thank you for like just being like, honestly, I've never rented a car before apart from last time. And it's terrifying to me. And when, and obviously when it wouldn't start, I was like, oh my God, but I've not done anything wrong. And I was just panicking because I thought I was going to get this huge fee or something. And there was just nothing. They were just absolutely amazing. And they've took full responsibility of it um you know the the hotel have really helped with that as well like saying like it wasn't my fault obviously with my rental agreement as well and always check this guys just make sure that you're covered under changing of vehicles and things like that i'm sure you will be most most rentals so i use andy's florida car hire so so yeah but like i say again just 10 out of 10 from alamo but anyway me and ava are gonna head bless ava she's been honest she's been such an amazing friend yeah we're gonna now drive well she's driving her car i'm driving my car to all-star music and uh i'm excited i'm excited to get to disney i'm excited to see it and yeah again i just want to say a huge thank you to alamo and if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll try and help as much as possible just in case that you have questions about what i've went through and if you've ever been something through similar or something like that so yeah Anyway, let's get all star music. Right, all parked up and we are in the building, Broadway, towards the stage door. Now, to be honest, guys, I'm going to be completely transparent with yourselves. I've already been there. <laughs> I've already put my cases up there. The reason being is just because, honestly, just, yeah, trying to get all my cases up here with trying to lug cameras around is just near enough impossible. But I just thought I would show you because, honestly, I'm blown away with the room, you know, absolutely blown away. Clarity, I actually paid for this. Um, not using DVC points, this was actually paid in cash. I'm at All Star Music, it's one of the value rooms, but they have just had a renovation and the rooms just look like the All Star movies. Now, I never got to see what the old resort was like before the renovation, but I know, like, obviously it was a little dated. So seeing the room now, I'm just like, yeah, so let me show you. Before I actually show you is the room, I just love the whole theme. And, and to be honest, in this vlog, I'm not gonna be able to do a whole resort tour just because this vlog would end up being way too long and to be honest I'm gonna head to Epcot which is gonna be in the next vlog for you guys either Epcot or Hollywood Studios I'll let you well you'll obviously see in the next vlog it's actually nice to actually get back to like normal content um, I know for you guys it's been three vlogs but it's actually been like four days for me since being out here so yeah I'm excited to get back to normal content but if you just look at this it's so nice isn't it it's like a lovely sky as well. It's hard to believe that literally 24 hours ago we had a hurricane here. Do you know when you see this, you just think there's no way, there's no way. But yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Really, really crazy. And this is my room in All Star Music, 8626. Eight, six. Let's see if my magic band works. Oh, oh God, I'm in the wrong room. Oh God, hang on, my guys, cut. Oh my God, right. Take two of my room, guys. It's 8624. Now, don't judge. I can't be the only one that's ever done that before. Oh, hang on. Is it going to work? I think... No, hang on. Hey, we're in. <laughs> We've made it. Oh, and that aircon hits you. Oh, my God. Now, again, apologies. There's bags galore. Literally, I've just got them all out the car. <laughs> but let me show you the room. Firstly, yes, we have... <sighs> 
the Magic TV. It's not called the Magic TV. Resort TV. We've got Resort TV. Oh my God. Oh, Epcot. That's where we're heading. Where the heading? Epcot at Hollywood Studios. 9 p.m. tonight. That is perfect. Don't know what. Don't know what anything else is on. No. Oh, Harmonious is nine o'clock as well, which is absolutely amazing. And we'll probably grab food in Harmi uh, Harmonious. Harmonious. <laughs> right. Anyway. Oh, we've got our Joffrey's coffee. Ooh, look at that. I'm excited to have that. It's actually nice to actually have some. Like, don't get us wrong. Universal's coffee is all right, but. It's nice to have some Joffrey's coffee, and I will definitely be actually getting a Joffrey's once we get to whichever park we're going to. Nice coffee making facilities, lovely fridge, which I've put some water in. I actually need to put more of my waters in. I've got loads of waters, you know, from when we hunkered down with the storm. I've still got loads of waters in here, so we'll we'll actually, and oh, I've got some Pepsi as well. Oof, I don't know if I, I don't, did I tell you about this Pepsi being really, really strong? I can't remember if I vlogged that or not, but yeah, oh, sorry, it's falling. Pepsi's really strong out here. It tastes like, like, Pepsi, not the dye, just like, get do that. <laughs> and that's what it tastes like. Um, it's much, honestly, I don't know, maybe it's just my taste buds, but it just tastes so much stronger out here than what it does at home. Um, so yeah, this room would be a double room, but it's just me staying in here, and you can pull that down, and that would make it a double. You've got a nice table and chairs, which I'll definitely be editing and working around. Lovely bed, and what I love about these resorts is Disney make full use of the space, which is always awesome, and you can literally stick your case directly under there. We have a nice bin, which has recyclable options, which is good we've got a view now with these rooms they don't really have like the big windows like you do at Universal and some of the deluxe resorts but this is nice because to be honest I don't like looking out the window <laughs> I prefer I prefer it to be dark and dingy now nah, I'm only joking actually let's open the curtains because you just won't be able to see what's going on no to be honest I'm being deadly serious I actually prefer like the curtains being closed and just chilling watching TV sometimes obviously not all the time so yes how many pillows does Disney give you I've always like let me give you so like how many people do you think are staying in here like on like let's be honest guys how many pillows do you use honestly i will i only use one pillow because if i have two it just like it really hurts my neck but i want to know in the comments how many pillows would you have we've got some lovely art of mickey minnie and donald there that is donald isn't it i'll just edit this if it's not donald um <laughs> then we've got the bathroom so hang on do we have a uh do we have a light? Oh, yes, we do. There's the light. There we go. So then we've got me in the mirror. We've got a nice sink. Kettle. Oh my God, that's not a kettle, Dan. Wake up. <laughs> it's the jet lag. I still haven't slept properly. We have an iron and a hairdryer. Some hangers. Yeah, to be honest, I was going to make a joke of like how small it is, but to be honest, who needs more than that, to be honest? Do you know what I mean? I think it's just because when I was at Universal today, um, you've seen earlier in this vlog of the size of the wardrobe. But to be honest, like I say, full use of the, faci uh, the facilities, full use of the space, which I always like Disney for. Nice mirror for doing your makeup or having a shave or whatever you like to do. Towels, we've got, oh my God, we've got the H2O, which to be honest, that's gonna be like gold dust soon. Guys, stock up. Because honestly, that's going soon, isn't it? It's going to be, is it they're retiring the brand? So, yeah. I'm glad they're hooked to the wall. <laughs> um, nice bathtub with, well, with a shower. Um, to be honest, I usually just have showers in these hotels. Uh, some nice towels, lots of towels, loads of towels actually. Oh, iron board, nearly forgot that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, the rooms, do you know, the rooms are really fit for purpose. I really do like the Disney rooms. I like the Universal rooms, but I really, really like the Disney rooms. They are a lot smaller. Like, I have noticed that, like, just from, like, standing all the way at the back here, compared to what I've been in in Cabana Bay and what I've been in in um, at Aventura, this is this is a lot smaller it's probably about half this me well maybe not half the size maybe about um 25 percent smaller but like i say it's fit for purpose and it is what it is i really really like it just before we shoot i wanted to show you something because over the last couple of days i have been using a lot of plastic bottles and what i've tried to do recently after some advice from you guys actually is really bring down my plastic consumption it's been something i've been wanting to do for ages like at, at home i generally used to just drink bottled water i used to drink like vulvic and stuff 
but recently I've got rid of all that and what I've actually started doing which I'll show you is, is bringing this out which I bought from Epcot and to be honest if they still have this I might treat myself to another one just so I've got two because I think I need two to get me through like half a day this literally would only last me about an hour in this heat because it, it, the heat has picked up actually but what I like to do is use one of them like little squirty bottles which I'll actually show you now yeah so one of these that honestly absolutely amazing squirt them into the bottle and in most of the days in fact I think all the results all the results that I've stayed at there's machines where you can get ice so you can get cold cold water and yeah it's really really good I'll actually show you where the ice machine is in this hotel obviously that's only if you ever stay in here there's loads of ice machines on every single floor in every single building just think it's a really good way one to save money so you're not buying water but then also it brings down your consumption of plastic so I'll show you the ice machine I'll show you how easy it is and honestly and I know for a lot of years you're like oh I don't like drinking the water in Florida but with one of these you would never know that you're drinking Floridian water and honestly I'm really like picky when it comes to like water and stuff like honestly I've always been bad since a kid right so usually the same so I can't see a sign up that way um, oh signs down here right so oh I can see it so ice in vend and ele so elevators okay so it's telling us to turn right here so it's, oh I can actually see it so this is what it's like guys when you're in any of your hotels it'll tell you like ice and then it generally it's usually by the vendor machine and there we go there's the ice machine and all you do Watch, it's not gonna work now. <laughs> All you do is put it under, and um, unfortunately this bottle is a bit, uh, it probably, right, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to, to do it with, like, with one hand. Um, but yeah, you put the ice in and then you fill it with water. Well, anyway guys, that is it for this week's vlog. I just wanna say a huge thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for just being so nice, so friendly, and just so accommodating with these vlogs. I really, really appreciate it. I am so excited to be heading to a Disney park today. Honestly, I just like, I've just been so desperate to get into the parks and I just can't wait to be there. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe already, hit that subscribe button and make sure you tune back into the next vlog of where we are going to be going to our first Disney park of this trip. Am I excited? Yes, I am. Are you excited? Well, I hope you are. <laughs> Anyway guys, I also just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs, early content and things like that. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. Again, a huge thank you to Alamo for just being amazing. Honestly, they really have. They've just been brilliant, so supportive. A huge thank you to Universal for being accommodating for, you know, the two nights at Cabana Bay were awesome. Hotel was lush. I felt safe, secure. Staff were brilliant. And then obviously the additional night of Aventura. Staff again were brilliant. I really enjoyed that room. The Aventura is such a good hotel. Highly recommend. And now I'm at Disney. Again, staff have been amazing. Bearing in mind, I was meant to check in yesterday at Disney. And when I arrived at Disney today, they actually cancelled all my reservations because if you don't show up on your first day, you forfeit the entire booking. So bless, I've just spent an hour with the customer service. They've sorted everything. They're going to organise the refund for yesterday. They've just been amazing. So honestly, all the cast members, all the staff, thank you so much for just being so supportive, so kind. It's none of your faults, but you have literally picked up the burden and you've been sorting everyone's issues out. And honestly, it really goes a long way. It really does. And from me, huge thank you. And I know for a fine fact, all of you guys that are watching these content and all the other vloggers and everyone that come here and love Disney as much as I do and as probably as much as you do, you know, we really, really appreciate everything the staff, cast members, everyone has done for, you know, for, for the tourists. And from first hand, from experiencing it myself, they've just been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. And yes, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy whatever you're doing. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys, see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Shaking that bloody thing, it's making me feel ill. Top Breeze, celebrationary sip of the golden age. It always is. And look where we are. We are in Toy Story land. And honestly, the Skyliner is like, it's, it's my favourite method of transport. Let me know in the comments what you...